Good morning everyone, today Good morning everyone, it's Kim Dao here and today is Vlogmas day number 13 Hi Kamja Hey boy But anyway, today we are going to studio because we are filming some videos for our main channel I'm going to film a get ready with me uh, which will be in this Vlogmas I'm only going to upload bits of it because most of it's going to go onto Sunny's channel So um, yeah, I'm going to get my face done when I get to the studio That's why I've got no makeup on right now I haven't had dark hair like this in ages so it feels really different um, uh, makes my face look whiter than it actually is. I think I curled my hair weird as well. But anyway, let's power free today and hopefully we can do another fun. It's so cold. Oh, I can't feel my face. I'm gonna go to Paris we get to buy some food to film with. Sunny wants to get these Christmas edition uh, bread to film for her channel. Look at all these Christmas cakes. So adorable. Got my bread and Sunny ended up getting another Christmas cake, so She's bought a lot of Christmas stuff for the video. So now we're gonna go to Art Box because she wants to buy some Christmas hats. Anyone's alright. Look at all these so cute. Reindeer ears. Oh, do you want a headband there? Um, I don't mind. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do this? Okay. Okay. Um, so. Oh look at these cute decorations! My hands, guys, they're so frozen. Like I don't, you can't probably tell, but like seriously, yeah, right here. So I got some bread from Paris Baguette. I just got this sausage one, and I got this uh, cheese stick. So I only got the salad. I'm actually like, regretting getting all this. I wish I got the salad. That looks really good. So I just did my makeup and we did makeup looks inspired by Twice members So I'm inspired by uh, Mina I believe from the latest music video And then now we're going to film another video Sunny bought like a bunch of Christmas cakes and desserts and breads and all that So we're going to eat the Christmas desserts now Guys oh my gosh it's Pokemon was it Bis Biscuits? Is this Korea? Yeah, this is Korean, I believe yeah, so. I don't think I've seen that in your No. Picture. Then you have like new Pokemon. And then you get a Pokemon card. You can take it home. <laughs> oh, I'm good. It's alright. Are you just already? No, what's it's that one? Caramel pudding. Oh, from wow. Starbucks. Oh, I haven't tried that yet. It sounds delicious. Look at all this food. So, Sunny got this cake. And then all these breads. Change our clothes. I'm wearing this top that I got at Gangnam Station when I went shopping with Faye. Sunny changed into her hoodie. This girl and her animal prints. I, l I love leopard prints. <laughs> she's she's oh. mine, guys. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Actually, change of outfit again. So, this one looked a bit more festive. So, I'm wearing this like hot pink uh, little cardigan thing that I got at kind of station the other day. Yeah. Very casual because it's so cold today, guys. Yeah. I'm just wearing my heat tech. Oh, you're wearing heat tech? Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to wear some Christmas hats. <laughs> to Gangnam guys oh, we passed out on the yeah. bus like I passed out I'm so tired if we have decided we're gonna go get some Taco Bell um, like we said because we were supposed to have it for lunch but instead we had the bread that we got at Paris Baguette here we are okay we just got a Taco Bell but we're just gonna bring it home so I got um, what did I get I got a wrap Sunny got a burrito I always get the Lipton tea here it's freezing outside. I think it's like minus 10 right now. I'm not really used to the cold weather. Like when it's this cold, I just don't want to go minus out. Seven. I'm minus 7. Ooh. So I don't have that much time left here. I've only got like three more days left. Know, it's so, so I'm like, oh, it's sad. Alright, guys, so we are back home now. Kamja. He's being really naughty, guys. He did something really naughty just then. You can explain if you want. He's your dog. <laughs> so he got lost in one of the elevators. So when I went out, I was checking on the place so that he could. Pick. I thought he would follow me. Cause he always does. Mm. I think for some reason he got really scared of the packages in one of the rooms before before we went into the doggy park. And then he just like ditched me. One of the elevator was open, and then he went onto the elevator. Mm -hmm. And it took me a while to realize like he went in there. Mm. 
by the time I look back, I didn't know which elevator he took. So yeah. he got lost in one of the one of the floors. So Kim oh. had to go down all the way from the 19. I had to start from the first all the way up. Yeah. And I found him on the seventh floor. Oh yeah. So I thought like we'd just talk about um you know life in Korea, life in Korea, and travel tips to Korea for this vlog because literally it's like night time and I have no content. So I thought let's just chill and eat together. Let's we'll start with the um. I guess the tips of traveling, like any tips that make your life easier mm. when you travel to Korea. So one tip I want to tell you guys is to um, get the tea money card. Oh yeah, for sure. As I've traveled to Japan or watched my Japan travel videos, I talked about getting the Suica or like, you know, the train pass in Japan. It's pretty much exactly the same thing in Korea, the tea money card. You can use it for trains, buses, 7-Eleven, um, convenience stores, places where you can, like a lot of places they accept tea money cards as payment. Now, I would suggest putting in maybe $10-ish a week. So, the subway in Korea and the buses are much cheaper than Japan. So, usually one ride like a dollar. Mm. So, about $10 for maybe one or two weeks is enough. Depending yeah, on how definitely. much you go out, really. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, definitely get one of those. If you forget your T-Money card at home, you can just buy, like, you know, the tickets at the train station of subway. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of a pain in the butt because, you know, you have to um, get the the pass, then you have to pay 501, which is like only 50 cents for the the ticket. Yeah. And then you can get a refund, but it's just a pain in the butt. You have to keep doing that. And it's actually a lot more expensive. Yeah. So definitely, um, if you can get the tea money card, it's worth it. Where can you get that? Most convenience stores? Mm -hmm. Google Maps never really worked in Korea before. Mm -hmm. Now it's just okay. It's not exactly working perfectly, but it's better than what it was before. Now. I'm just used to using Google, it's just easier for me. I don't like using Maps. And Naver, I mean, I do use Naver, but my Korean is really slow. So when I read Korean, it's just too slow to read. So I'd rather just use Google. Mm -hmm. Now, Google, it doesn't tell you what roads you have to take when you walk to, to get to places. But they've got the roads there, so you can figure it out yourself. If you just look at the little the dot and work it out yourself, it's not that hard. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want to take buses, I definitely recommend you use Google because it tells you what bus you have to take. It tells you exactly where the bus stop is so you can walk to the bus stop and it will tell you where the bus is going. And then once, it tells you where to get off the bus. And then from there, you just kind of work it out yourself. Because it would draw like a straight line to your location, which is not how you get there. But yeah. you just kind of like figure it out. It's really easy. It makes your life so much easier. Definitely Google Maps. And also, um, a lot of Koreans don't really use um, Uber. Mm. We use this thing called Kakao Taxi. Yeah. So I, um, they also could read like a, um, a lot of like English address. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. But the problem with that, you have to have your own like phone number for yeah. the driver to uh, to contact you when it's when he's he or she is near. Mm. So um, I would recommend you guys downloading Kakao Taxi mm. because it's really convenient, especially if you live in the Gangnam area. It's getting a taxi there is so hard. Mm. So having that app. Would, would like save your time and makes make everything so much more easier. Yeah, but you definitely so. need a number for that. So I, I couldn't get it. So Sunny uses it all the time, but I unfortunately couldn't get it. Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. So in oh, Korea, yeah. like many places do have free Wi Fi, but it's just more convenient to have your own because some places, like even though you have free Wi Fi, sometimes it's low if too many people using it, stuff like that. So I um, get my Wi Fi from the airport when I. Uh, get to Seoul. So usually you have to book it beforehand. I always use a website. Um, I use a website called Tracy.com mm -hmm. and I don't think it, I don't know if it's the cheapest one or not. There probably are cheaper options. Um, I just got it because I used it before and it's convenient and it works. So that's why I decided to get it again. So for my deal, it was Wi Fi for 30 days and it was like $50. So it's not so bad because I have Wi Fi everywhere I go. Now it's only a data only sim. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's a data only sim, you don't get a phone number unfortunately, but that's pretty much all you need when you're in Seoul anyway, mm. you only just need data because, I mean, you can call your friends using Messenger, Line, mm. Card, yeah, yeah, stuff definitely. like that. If you can read Hangul, it'll make your life so much easier. So, I mean, most restaurants do have English menus, but some don't. And I mean, I can, my Korean's really limited, but I can read Korean. There's been times where I've gone to restaurants and there's just no English menu. And it's just Korean. And there's no pictures either. It's just like literally Korean list. And you have to like write down in pencil what you want. And if I didn't know how to read Korean, we would have been screwed. But because I could read Korean, it's okay. So definitely if you guys can read Korean, 
it'll make your life so much easier and it only took me like you know two three hours to actually learn how to read korean it's a lot easier to learn how to read korean it's not not that hard um i mean i'm slow but at least i can kind of figure it out but people make mistake by taking the train from the airport oh yeah i did that first mm. time Mm -hmm. Find out the nearest um, bus stop from your area. You just need to find it from the airport because mm -hmm. there are so many like buses that go straight to your place. Because mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning when I came here, I didn't know. And yeah. I always took the train and that was such a hassle because the thing is... Luggage. Um, one, you'll, you'll be carrying your luggage all the way. Mm -hmm. and um, it's it's a lot of work you guys mm. and by the time you get to your place you're gonna be so tired and you're gonna waste your the rest of the day resting at home and being so mm -hmm. empty and be so exhausted I'm generous okay sorry I'll be so exhausted so I would recommend taking the bus that goes straight to your area mm. because there's so many mm -hmm. so yeah I would highly recommend that don't take the yeah. train that that's a really stupid mistake yeah I did that before and like buses like seriously the airport bus stops are everywhere around Korea. Like you see them all the time. And it's so much more convenient. So mm -hmm. how the tax free works is that um, if you spend over, I think thirty dollars, mm -hmm. you can get um, tax free. Now what happens is that they give you a envelope and then you have the receipt, and then um, you bring the receipt to the airport and then you process it at the airport. Now I personally don't think it's worth it mm -hmm. to do the tax free because if you're spending like thirty dollars, you only get like maybe one dollar two dollars tax free back and like you have to wait in line there's a lot of people in line very busy at the airport uh -huh. and because of that like if you're lining up for like an hour for like ten dollars back it's not worth it so i mean i guess it's worth it if you're shopping a lot but i yeah. shopped a lot the first time i came to korea i had so many receipts and my tax free i got like ten dollars back and i was like oh uh, like, you, you had know, to line up for so long you had to line up for so long i almost missed my flight because of that to me it wasn't worth it if you're buying something maybe like thousand dollars yeah it's worth it but mm. if you're only spending like you know thirty dollars in each shop it's not worth it and put this in a different category so i'm gonna do winter and summer for winter make sure you bring a lot of heat heat pack mm -hmm. make sure you wear them make sure you have them mm -hmm. because this place can go down all the way to minus 20 you guys mm -hmm. and it's ridiculous for the winter here i mean i have like a big coat i also need a scarf i need like heat tech mm -hmm. i need like heat tech socks even because it's so cold like yeah. everything is heat tech for me for the summer um it gets really humid yeah i feel like this year was the most humid one because mm. two years ago it was pretty good right it was really good it was actually nice mm. but this summer it was ridiculously humid mm. and I, I thought it was i thought it was actually pretty it was more humid than bali yeah it was to the point where sometimes i went to some train stations i couldn't even breathe like, as soon as i got out I, I couldn't even breathe it was so humid and gross yeah so um just make sure you guys know that and <laughs> lots of water uh, bring water bring with lots you. of water mm -hmm. um what season is the best to travel to do you think? I think spring Spring, yeah Spring or mm -hmm. fall Because yeah. I feel like that's in the um, I feel like the in-between weather is mm. always nice to come Because it's not, yeah. too, cold, it's not too cold, it's not too hot mm -hmm. For um, fall, you can always see the leaves turning yellow mm. And um, like spring, you can always see like, you know Like, you know, flowers blooming mm. And everything is more colorful There's also cherry blossoms in Korea as well Every Friday, Saturday, do, if you guys are going to go to Itaewon, mm. pu, uh, make sure you guys have this in mind that taxis will not, you you guys will not get taxis until 5 a.m. in the morning. Oh and make sure to have like cacao taxi with you because the thing is, um, Itaewon is like the nightlife area. So everyone mm. goes to Itaewon. It's really rare for a taxi to take you out from outside from Itaewon because they mm. want to make money and mm. there's too many people trying to get in there and out there. Mm. So you guys will not get a taxi. Just keep that in mind because I couldn't get a taxi. It was really so hard. many times until 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, like so, they they will only take you if you're going out somewhere really far away so they can make more money. Obviously, yeah. So, Itaewon guys I've been scammed by a taxi driver before The taxi driver charged me 10 times the amount So I was meant to pay 4,400 won But he charged me 44,000 because I didn't realize And I paid it which is like I paid like around $44 instead of $4 for the taxi And it was like a 5 minute ride so obviously I got scammed yeah. But look at the meter so that was my mistake um, I should have looked at the meter And um, make sure that he turns the meter on when he drives you So yeah that's what you need what how else? about tipping in korea that's not yeah. a thing isn't it we tipping. don't tip 
Mm. We don't tip. I mean, like, I mean, if you guys want to tip, if you guys have the money, then go go ahead and be our guest. Is it, but... is it rude to tip in Korea? Because in Japan, it's rude. No, they like it. Oh no. Okay. I mean, if you give them extra, they will always like it. Okay. But it's not a culture. Yeah. And right. it's not a rule to tip. I guess you can use very simple English in Korea. Like, my Korean's really limited, but if I can, I'll try to speak Korean. Just because, like, you know. Just out of respect, I try to learn the language of the country I go to. So, um, I try to like order in Korean, or when I um, ask for help, I try and do it in Korean. Um, of course, it's very limited, so I can't really do much. But you know, people are happy when you speak Korean in Korea. Most places you can use simple English and get away with it. Most places. Um, I've never really had a problem with using English in Korea. Like if I really can't say it in Korean, I'll say it in English, and it's usually not a problem. Yeah. Also, like, people have asked me where you can shop to buy this and that. Guys, pretty much every single area in Korea has, like, tons of makeup shops and stuff. If you want an edgy house, there's, like, 20 of them in Gangnam. There's, like, 50 of them in Myeongdong. Every there's, corner. They're everywhere, so you don't really have to worry about that. That's the end of this video. Hopefully that was helpful. Remember to subscribe to Sunny as well. I'll link it down below. So, yeah, hopefully these tips helped you out if you're going to live in Korea or travel to Korea. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.